We've all encountered people with bad intentions at some point in our lives. Maybe it was a toxic friend, a manipulative co-worker, or a family member going through a difficult time. Whatever the case, it can be hard to discern when someone means you harm. But we must also be wise and alert to deceit and malice around us. In this video, we'll unpack 11 signs the Holy Spirit often uses to reveal when someone means intentional harm. Recognizing these spiritual red flags provides guidance to respond righteously. Though someone may have ill will now, we hold on to hope that through prayer and grace, God can transform any harm. Sign hash one, confusion or unease in your spirit. Listen to these intuitive feelings. Our spirits recognize threats or danger faster than our logical minds sometimes. The first sign is a nagging sense of confusion or unease around that person. Don't ignore the Holy Spirit's quiet promptings. Pray for discernment and seek counsel from other believers. Watch how the person behaves over time. Sign hash to secretive, shifty, or evasive behavior. Another red flag is when someone displays secretive, shifty, or evasive behavior. They avoid questions. Their explanations or stories change frequently. Things don't quite add up over time. They hide certain interactions or activities. This dishonesty indicates they're intentionally concealing their true intentions, especially in close relationships. Healthy communication requires transparency and vulnerability. Sign hash three, gossiping or slandering, Individuals with ill motives often gossip or slander others. They stir up division and strive to pit people against each other. Slander also allows gossips to make themselves look better by comparison. But God calls us to directly resolve conflicts, not drag someone's name through the mud. Sign hash for undermining you or others. On a similar note, Toxic people often undermine you or others. This can be another way to make you look or feel inferior. Examples include cutting off when you speak, minimizing your experience, or teaming up with a third party against you. The enemy wants you to feel small. Don't let others' pettiness or jealousy shake your worth or calling. Sign hash five, growing sense of unease. Sometimes a toxic person in your life will just give you an increasingly unsettled feeling. You may detect subtle criticisms, backhanded compliments, or manipulative language. The more exposure you have, the more you recognize their passive aggression. Don't second guess your observations lean on the spirit's discernment. Create healthy boundaries or distance to protect your heart and spirit. Sign hash six, feeling drained or exhausted have you ever noticed feeling emotionally fragile, drained, or wiped out after spending time with a certain toxic person? Some individuals seem to act as emotional vampires feeding off the energy, joy, and attention of those around them. While we all occasionally act selfishly or make unreasonable demands, toxic people display a pattern of requiring constant time, resources, praise, or talents from others without reciprocation. You give and give, yet it's never enough. Walking away from interactions with them leaves you feeling exhausted and depleted rather than fulfilled. Often spiritual vampires envy the peace, passions, or gifts of others. Your light reminds them of their inner emptiness, so they seek to snuff it out. Guard your spiritual life carefully around them. Limit time together and say no to extra demands. Set boundaries around topics of conversation as well avoid oversharing dreams, insights from God, or knowledge they could later use against you. Sign hash seven, deception or half-truths. Outright deception is a clear sign of all intentions. But toxic people also operate in half-truths. They mix enough fact with fiction to throw off suspicion. Listen for contradictions in their stories. Pay attention to your gut instinct. Demand accountability and honesty, not just vague excuses when their behavior seems questionable. 
God desires us to live in the light, not shadows. Sign hashate, causing division. Malignant people infect relationships and groups by causing division. They pit people against each other through gossip, string up controversy, or escalating tension. They may target others' insecurities and weaknesses. Reject these poisonous efforts to undermine it. Maintain an attitude of grace, but don't enable harmful behavior. Sign hash nine. Lack of empathy, one of the most telling characteristics of a toxic person is a complete lack of empathy or compassion for others' suffering and needs. We all occasionally make selfish mistakes or get preoccupied with our problems. But toxic individuals display an ongoing, willful pattern of disregard for the feelings and hardships of people closest to them. You may notice they become impatient or aggravated if you share vulnerabilities, struggles, or heartfelt emotions. Rather than offering comfort, they react with criticism or indifference. They don't express genuine concern about your welfare or interests. Your pain and problems bore them the focus must remain on them. These individuals often display coldness towards strangers or those deemed beneath them as well. Whether weight staff, subordinates, or the needy, you'll observe a lack of basic courtesy, patience, or kindness in their interactions. It's as if they don't see these people as fully human. Sign hash 10. Sense of superiority. Toxic individuals often exude a strong sense of pride or superiority. They feel entitled to special treatment and flaunt their status. Signs can include boasting, hogging attention, or one-upping others. We must all clothe ourselves in humility, remembering everything good comes from God alone. No one should lord over others or demand honor. Sign hash 11. Volatile temper. Finally, a volatile temper signals someone allows anger to control them. Toxic people frequently blow up or make biting remarks. They hold grudges and refuse to forgive. Outbursts escalate quickly over minor issues. Turn the other cheek and do not repay evil for evil. Pray for those struggling with anger issues. Conclusion, in closing, being aware of these 11 potential signs helps identify harmful intentions in those around us. Recognizing signs of all intentions early helps prevent greater pain down the road. But what steps can we take when we discern a wolf in sheep's clothing. First, pray for discernment and wisdom in the situation. Dialogue graciously with the person if appropriate. Establish healthy boundaries if needed. Release them in prayer to God's perfect will. Finally, remember that only the Holy Spirit can truly change someone's heart.